Hello and welcome to another episode. I am Brian, the Unskilled Commander. Welcome to match three of Optimus Prime, Ramos, Counters Matter, Angels, and Insects. As we've done with this whole matchup, we jumped, well no, we didn't jump ahead, but we are starting the recording at the beginning of turn four, skipping all of the early stuff where it's just mainly lands and such, and now I will catch you up real quick. Optimus has Mother of Runes out, which is a 1-1 that you can tap and target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Insects just ramped a bunch. Ramos played ramped a little bit with uh, Mirrored Landscape, and Angels is, of course, unfortunately pulling ahead with Giada out, who is, of course, the commander. Flying Vigilance 2-2, other angels you control enter the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter for each other angel already on the field, and she can tap for one white, but only be used against to pay for uh, angels. And we have Speaker of the Heavens, a 1-1 one -one with Vigilance and Lifelink, and tap it to make a 4-4 angel creature token, but only activate if you have seven life more than your starting life total. And you can only do it at sorcery speed. Let's jump into the game play and see what happens. Draw for turn. I will play a Sea of Clouds. Comes in tapped unless you have two or more component er, opponents. I do. I will then tap all four mana to play Thran Dynamo. Perhaps for three colorless. There's nothing off of that that I can play, unfortunately, and we are missing a color to play Optimus, so that's not good. We're going to pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. I will play Cinder Glade. Comes in tapped unless you have two or more basic lands. I do. I will tap three to play Chromatic Lantern. It taps for one mana of any color, and lands I control have tap add one minute of any color so it's great land color fixing in this deck I will then tap 1, 2, and 3 to play Good Fortune Unicorn. It's at 2, 2. It says whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. That's all we can do. We'll pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Just play uh, planes. Oh, I also have Sword of the Animist over here on Angel's side. I did forget to say that. But we are going to play 1, 2, 3 to play Righteous Valkyrie. Whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. As long as you have at least 7 life more than your starting life total, creatures you can control get plus two plus two she's going to come in with a plus one plus one counter on her and let's see we're going to move the combat i'm just going to swing this at optimus you're going to lose whoops well, that is commander damage i guess so there we go oh no it isn't what am i saying i was going to say why is it only one sorry i'm totally not paying attention to what i was doing i'm going to swing speaker of the heavens which is what i was tapping against insects and i will swing giada at optimus prime there now we'll do this right and they take one damage but i gain one life and that was really this has vigilance actually they both have vigilance awesome uh, the whole point was that he had lifelink and i wanted to start gaining some life we will then pass turn untap upkeep draw play another forest for turn tap one two three play cultivate two basic land cards one into my hand one on the battlefield we'll say a forest onto the battlefield and a uh planes into my hand then i will tap a green for caustic caterpillar we saw that in the very first game say one one pay two and sacrifice it to destroy target artifact or enchantment that's all we can do there. We will now move on to turn five because Optimus went first and pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Rogue's Passage for turn. We're going to tap Thran Dynamo for three to play Palladium Mur. It's 2-2 two, two that taps for two colorless mana. Unfortunately, that's colorless mana. So I will tap three lands and play Catalog. Draw two cards, then discard a card. Nope, doesn't help. We'll discard this island, or this plains, rather. Nothing we can do right now, so we will go ahead and pass. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. Play a forest. Actually, no, we're going to play Canopy Vista. Comes in tapped unless you control two or more basics. Again, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six to play Ramos Dragon Engine. Flying four, four. Whenever you cast a spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Ramos for each color of that spell, and then remove five counters to give Ramos double Wooburg, which is two white, two blue, two black, two red, two green. You can only do that once per turn. Uh, but another creature entered the battlefield under my control, so Ramos is already going to get a counter. Then we will go ahead and pass turn. Untap over here. Upkeep. Draw. Play a planes for turn. Tap one, two, three, four, five, six to play Exalted Angel. So a couple things go on the stack. There are two angels already on the field, so sh this angel will get two counters. And I played an angel, so I'm going to gain life equal to that creature's toughness, which is five. Oh, I'm one short from. Oh, but I can. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get in anywhere? No, that's there's the rub, as it were. The point is, I have to have seven life higher than my starting life total before I can tap Speaker of the Heavens to make a four-four angel token. Anyway, Exalted. Exalted Angel says whenever Exalted Angel deals damage, you gain that much life. And it's flying. 4-5, which is now a 6-7. That's all we can do right now. We're going to go ahead and pass. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn, lay another forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four Hornet Queen. A flying death touch two two, but when she enters the battlefield, create four one one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch. So we now have five flying insects with death touch against your angels. Haha. -ha. Nothing else 
that's really necessary to do. Pass. Uh, whoops, and we're going to turn six. Untap, upkeep, draw. Darn it, we really need some red mana. So I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, one of which being blue, to play Glimmer of Genius. Scry two, then draw two cards. And we also get two energy counters. That's really not going to be... I just liked it because it was Scry two and draw two. Energy is not going to be in this deck much. I might try and alter it with some of all the new art, some of the new energies that might be a way to take out Optimus. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to put both on the bottom and draw two. So we will tap three and a white to play Abzan Battle Priest, one of the other humans in the deck. Three, two with Outlast. Pay a white and tap it to put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Outlast only is a sorcery. Each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it has lifelink. Great for the deck. Not helping right now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just pass. Optimus did really well last game. I guess he's just kind of sputtering out this time. Draw for turn. I will play another forest. So we're going to tap five mana to play Gilded Lotus, which taps for three of any color. We will tap it for three red and two more to play the enchantment all will be one here we go whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent or player all will be one deals that much damage to target opponent or creature or planeswalker and opponent controls it is a red so dragon engine is going to get a counter however that's cast so all will be one will not trigger because it won't be on the field in time but we do have a six six flyer and those angels are looking pretty bad so we're going to hold off because they're going to be swinging so we're going to pass turn untap upkeep draw for turn Light planes and we're gonna play Gisela the Broken Blade one two three she's gonna get three counters she's got a toughness of three so we're gonna gain three life one two three and she is a flying first strike lifelink at the beginning of your end step if you have her and Bruna fading light you can exile them both and mold them into a Grisella voice of nightmares I'm going to go ahead and tap to and equip exalted angel with the sword of the animist I am then going to tap the speaker of heavens because I have seven or more seven life more than my starting life total to create a four four angel token as it enters the battlefield. One, two, three, four. It gets four counters. It's an eight eight. Stuff's about to get wrecked, boys. Told you this. I swear this angel deck that the the, the secret lair. It's too good, especially with Gisela as the or with Giada as the commander, which is probably why they didn't have her. The actual commander was Gisela. That's why it's this really beautiful art. But uh, Giada is just a much better commander for this deck, and pretty much everyone uses Giada as an angel commander. So it's not not all that special. Nothing about this deck. The way I tweaked it is impressive or unique, and I kind of don't use it very often because it's hard to claim it as mine, because while I did change about 15 cards or so, leaned it more towards the life gain aspect, it still doesn't feel like I built the deck. It feels like Wizards of the Coast built the deck, and they've just made a really good deck. But angels do synergize well with each other, so there's all that as well. And I do have seven life more than my starting life total, so also my creatures get plus two, plus two. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is now an eight, nine life Link or no, it doesn't have life link. Oh, okay. Well, still flying eight nine that I'm going to send to somewhere, but not at the Death Touchers. Uh, Optimus isn't doing anything. I don't care about that. I care about the insects, but I care about all will be one. So we're gonna go ahead and swing this bad boy at you. Like I said, four five six seven eight. You have a six six flyer on attack though. I get to, well, hang on four five six seven eight nine. It's actually nine damage. But on attack, I get to look at or search my library for basic planes. I'm putting it on the battlefield tapped. It's really great for deck thinning and extremely important in decks like mono white because white does not ramp so this is a great way to get your lands up all right so what are you gonna do you get a block nah take nine. Oh, when it deals damage though you do gain that much life one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah this is this might be a quick game we're gonna pass turn I believe there's any kind of end step triggers untap upkeep draw play a planes for turn tap three and then one two three four five to cast vreston menopatra leader comes in with five counters because whatever you paid for x and then it also makes five one one insects with flying. And he says whenever you attack with one or more insects, put a plus one plus one counter on each of them. That is where things get fun because we currently have nine one one insects. And if we swing with them, they become two two insects. And if we swing with the, the Hornet Queen or the Caustic, like it's that's what the deck is designed to do. Swing with a bunch of little guys, they buff themselves over time, and if you can get through and they last long enough they can get big i do need to try and tweak it so that it has more either more static buffs like the guy's anthem with guy's anthem we saw in other games that give all creatures plus one plus one on our side of the field or something that protects all of our creatures that say they can't take like uh, dolem gate 
or whatever, which I believe is an Optimus Prime, where attacking creatures can't take can our attacking creatures can't take damage. We're not going to swing just yet because those Death Touchers are really good to keep the angels away. So we will pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. Hey, spectator seating comes and tap unless you have two or more components. Awesome. Going to tap that for red, white, blue, and one, two, three to cast Optimus Prime Hero. It's a four eight. Whenever at the beginning of each end step, bolster one, and if he dies, return him to the battlefield, transformed into truck mode. Definitely not going to do anything just yet. So we're going to go ahead and move to our end step and bolster the Mother of Runes because bolster goes on the creature with the lowest toughness. So now I have a bunch of 2-2s two and a 3-2 and blah blah blah. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. We'll play Evolving Wilds, cracking it. Uh, we will also tap the Gilded Lotus to also play K Kadama's Reach so we can get we'll just get three basics all at once. So we'll get uh, Plains and a Swamp and a Swamp to my hand. Those come in tapped. Juniper Order Ranger. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature and a plus one plus one counter on juniper now a bunch of triggers go on the stack when another creature enters the battlefield under your control put a plus one plus one counter on it so we will do so and then all will be one we'll deal one damage to wherever we want uh we're going to deal one damage to that thing then ramos is going to see two colored creature come in so we're going to put two counters on ramos and we're going to deal two damage to something i believe two damage to your commander probably sounds pretty good now it costs two more to cast i have three mana left nothing i can do with three mana i have an eight eight flyer but unfortunately you have quite a few uh, creatures up that are pretty pretty big. Swinging an Optimus does feel a little unnecessary, even though he is now out. Yeah, I don't think we want to swing at all. We got Death Touchers and stuff. We'll just hold back. Uh, move to that end step now. We will finally bolster again, so we'll bolster her. Hey, cool. I actually remembered that bolster this time. Untap over here. Upkeep. Draw. Tap two to play a Pearl Medallion. White spells cost one less to cast, so then Commander tax and one to recast Giada. Triggers. Another angel enters, so I'm going to gain two life. One, two. And that's all the triggers. I have going to play a uh, Plains Return. I didn't play a land yet. You have an eight, eight. I have a five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still outrank you. So we're going to go ahead and swing the flyer at you, get the trigger to put planes on the battlefield and shuffle. I don't like taking nine damage, but I don't want to have to recast the commander. So I guess one more time. Time, and then we're gonna pass. And the thing is, there's one card left in that hand, and that card is pretty much gonna win the game on the next turn, especially the way Giada works if Giada is left out. So we will have to see. We're gonna untap over here. This is, I think we missed a turn again. I think it's turn eight, but we're gonna draw, play a planes, tap one, one green, and play bushwhack. Choose one. I'm gonna choose target creature you control, fights target creature you don't control. Each deals damage equal to its power to the other. I'm going to have one of my Death Touchers deal damage to your Righteous Valkyrie. They're both going to die because death it has Death Touch, so it's going to get rid of that. So now you're not getting the buff of all the creatures getting plus two, plus two. One, two, three, four, five. We've seen this before. Engineered Might. Choose one. I'm going to take two creatures I control, get plus two, plus two, and gain Vigilance until end of turn. Then going to move to combat. Going to swing all of these at you. When they go to attack, thanks to Reston, they're going to get plus one, plus one counters on them. And I almost forgot they actually have vigilance and are getting plus two plus two so these are all flyers but what are we looking at we're looking at two twos but they're now four fours and this is a four five five these have death touch this does not and this little guy is on the ground this is a four this is an eight eight and this is a seven six so we'll block two of these things no problem i don't want to lose giada and i can't block with the other thing so there we go we've got a total of six 12 24 24 damage off of these and this is one two three four five and then this is one two on the ground um three four wow from 60 down to 27 one hit that is fantastic obviously that's an mvp of the deck we've seen that twice now and it's done extremely well each time i believe that's all we can do we're going to go ahead and pass turn untap upkeep draw tapping all three for cloud key declaring artifacts so artifact spells i cast uh, cost one less to cast i'm going to tap for a red and a blue and play enthusiastic Me mechanaut it's a 2-2 two -two flyer artifact spells you cast cost one less to cast so now now, all of our artifact spells cost two less to cast, and it is an artifact creature. I will then tap white 
white and one other to play Tempered Steel. Enchantment, artifact creatures you control get plus two plus two. And we totally missed um, all of the boat bolsters again. That one and that one. I think we just missed those two. However, all creatures that I control with plus one plus one counters on them now have lifelink, so that's cool. We got three of them. And they're all getting a plus two plus two. I don't think we really want to be sending them anywhere just yet. So we'll move to our end step, a bolster. And then we pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. Play a swamp. Tapping for green and white to play Conclave Mentor. If one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on a creature you control, that many plus one are put on instead. Whenever Conclave Mentor dives, you gain life equal to its power. So a bunch of things happen. We're casting white green spell, so that's going to go up by two, which means all will be one will deal two damage to you. Well, deal two damage to Giada again. So now she's going to cost four more to cast. That's problematic. That means, well, that's good. I mean, she had a really great card, and now it's getting to the point where it's not going to be able to cast it because it's expensive mana-wise. Got those counters, did two damage. Then, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, it's going to get... It comes in with a plus one plus one counter, so we're going to deal one damage to something. So actually, it's when it enters the battlefield, so it's on the battlefield that triggers these ones, so it's going to see itself happen. So it will get two count two counters, meaning there's two instances of that. And then this says, another creature enters, you put a counter on it and a counter on these. So that's going to be another two here and two here. One, two, three, four, five, six. For a total of six damage that we can send somewhere. But what is truly the threat before we just go wiping out angels? I mean, those insects are bad, especially with the death touch and they are now two twos so we could take out the three little death touchers i think that's the i think that's the play i think we take out these death touch ones for exactly six damage total i will tap these for three or for four green total to play path of the animist search for uh, two basic land cards put them on a battlefield tap then shuffle these two go on the battlefield unfortunately that's it i have nothing that i can do to draw cards or anything so that's a, a bad spot so we got a crap ton of mana which is great and would be important if we didn't have chromatic lantern because we were able to go and search for specific basics so that is good it's functioning well it just doesn't have any card draw right now the this just came in these ones can attack however that's just a two two and that's only uh, five something so yeah we're gonna go ahead and have to pass i'm always mixed feelings about stuff because we really could have just ended the game right now and it would have been like a 20 minute game or so with angels but i'm kind of glad that it's not gonna win so easily uh untap upkeep draw wow another planes okay well, kind of giada is cost one less so she costs one but she has tax of four so we need five total mana to recast giada and then i have one two three four five mana up not enough to do the spell in my hand we have flyers with one death touch and a big flyer over there that we probably and we are down to 27 life so we probably don't want to go swinging although i would like the trigger because we just drew a couple lands and it's like no i'm using the trigger to get rid of the lands i want to draw angels right now uh and that's true everything over here has flying that has a counter on it too so actually i guess we don't want to swing out just yet pass turn to insects untap upkeep draw play planes tapping a green to play Xantid Swarm. A flying 0-1 when Xantid Swarm attacks, defending player can't cast spells this turn, meaning they can't cast spells during combat or uh, during your second main phase. Now we have three 2-2s, two a 3-3, three three, and a 2-2. Two two. So we really don't want to be swinging out of here either right now, which won't won't. Okay, we're going to pass to whatever turn, I mean, to whatever turn we're on. Probably more like turn nine or so. Untap over here. We upkeep draw. Okay, so um, we still have... All right, so this is going to be the energy, I'm calling it Energon because it's Transformers, that we got from that card earlier. There's two. The reason I do that is because we're going to tap for a red and one other to play the creature Assaultron Dominator. When Assaultron Dominator enters the battlefield, you get two more energies. So we're up to four. Whenever an artifact creature you control attacks, you may pay an art, uh, uh, energy. If you do, put your choice of a plus one plus one, a first strike, or a trample counter on that creature. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, wait, wait a second. I almost forgot. So we have one artifact, two, three, four, five, six, Six, seven, then eight, nine, ten, eleven to cast Mycosynth Golem. It's a f affinity for artifacts, which means it costs one less to cast. It's an eleven drop, but it costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. It's a four, five, and artifact creature spells you cast have affinity for artifacts, so they will also now cost less to cast for each artifact I control. And I missed the freaking end steps again. I don't think we should even be surprised at this point. We are going to say I think I think we missed three triggers of it. So this is three. This is so everything gets yeah. So my point being, I don't want to attack. We're gonna move to our end step. This goes guy is going to get a counter past her there's a reason why i'm doing this i will tell you when we get to it just like with angels it'll probably get nullified at some point too soon 
but we'll see before it goes off. But one untap over here, upkeep, tapping two for a thought vessel, unimportant, not even something that can get us draws. Does not even a color, so it doesn't trigger that. More passing of turns. So at that end step, that gets another one. Untap over here, upkeep, draw. Tap three, because they caught white spells cost one less to cast to be returned to dust. Exile, target artifact or enchantment. If you cast this spell during your main phase, you may exile up to one other target artifact or enchantment. So I'm going to exile this, costs two more to cast, and I can do that one more time. I guess we'll probably do Optimus. We are then going to move to combat. You no longer have flyers. What do I have? So 21 damage. 22. I think we actually can. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, we're going to swing all of these angels at you. For exactly, you have no flyers. You have no cards in hand. On the attack trigger, I'm going to get a basic planes onto the battlefield. Tapped. Negative one. Kaboosh, you are done. Valiant effort, not too bad this game. Not great, but not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and say that on their turn, it's turn 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, I should have. Dang it. How stupid. I got so excited I forgot about the other card, which was the entire point. I can, in fact, cast it in terms of mana, and actually that would kind of help them, but I really don't know that. If I cast it now that I've already done combat and try and rewind and adjust, it's going to kind of help Optimus win. I don't know if that's fair or not. Like, if this was a real game, I would absolutely, it's way too late. I can't go back and do it. So, I, you know what, that I, I messed up. It's way too late. I can't do it. So we're going to pass. Like, this is this is way too late. I'm going to tell you, it's Legion Loyalty, which creatures you control have myriad. Myriad states that whenever a creature attacks, it makes a copy of itself attacking each other possible opponent. So when I swung all of them at there, it would make, now, the legendary creature tokens would destroy as they came in. But these two would have have copies come in attacking each of like two the there are copies of each of these attacking him and copies attacking them with giada out each of those copies entering would get counters now they would all enter at the same time so they'd all get the same amount of counters but it would still be huge because they would all come in and they well they would at least get four so they would all be four they would all be eight eights and whatever so everybody should theoretically have taken roughly 20 some damage close to it almost so that would have put everybody in much better play range for Optimus to take them out and of course we have blockers and such but I didn't do it so we'll see untap over here upkeep draw crows and verge comes in tapped they're down to 27 so how much damage can we do these would be three they would go up to be they'd be three threes so they'd be three of them 20 so maximum of 20 damage in the air they have a blocker they probably wouldn't block. So they'd be down to seven, and we could send it at Optimus instead. But again, if we swing out, they still have creatures. They still have enough to... So that, again, unfortunately, we really don't want to swing at this point. Till we have a kill swing, we got to leave it up. So we will pass. So around... It should be around turn 10 right now. So we untap, upkeep, draw. Oh my god, and I forgot again. Three on the flyer, three on this guy, and three on this guy instead. So then at this end step, we would have to put it on the mirror, and then... So what do I have mana-wise? I got one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, nine. Nine mana. That's literally all, just enough to recast Optimus. Oh, that's right. Uh, artifact spells do cost two less to cast. So that negates the Optimus Prime's commander tax. So we only need one, two, three, each of the colors. Recast Optimus. Oh, what am I saying? And it has affinity for artifacts. How stupid. We don't need to pay that three. Because creatures... So actually, the affinity for artifacts covers the commander tax as well. So that's awesome. So we only had to pay. That's pretty sweet. We are then going to tap Thran Dynamo. So we'll tap the Palladium Mer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one of which being blue. You know it. Cyclonic Rift Overloaded. They do not have a counter spell. They do not have a counter spell. Return all non-land permanents you don't control to their owner's hand. All right. So now we go a swing it. So what we're going to do is we are sending these four creatures at you using one of the Energon to buff them up and that should be exactly lethal of 27 damage we're then sending abzan battle priest at you with one of the energons used as well for a total of nine damage now the nice thing is that every creature that has a counter on it has lifelink so i believe we are gaining 29 life so it might be a little off there i don't know uh, however they of course don't have vigilance so we will be tapping these we have two energon left there you go. We are up to 67 life. Go Optimus. Love it. Love to see it. We then pass turn. Kaboosh, they're dead. Untap, upkeep, draw. Two green and a white, and then unfortunately, two commander attacks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not even much better than normal, but we're going to go ahead and recast for six. So it's a six, six, and we make six flying one ones. But that's all we can do. We're going to go ahead and pass. 
Oh, and Optimus was, of course, out, which means somebody got a bolster there. So now these are all five. So at my end step, I can put a counter on Mycoslip. All right, we're going to untap, upkeep, draw for turn. Oh, there we go. That's the win. Well, it's not the win, but it's, it's up there. So we're tapping for three, and then I need one, two, three white to cast true conviction creatures i control have double strike and lifelink so now all my creatures have lifelink and they have double strike so we move to combat swing the board math is for blockers wait shoot i'm the blocker too dang it so here's how this works if we block everything all the insects die nothing gets through optimus prime gains just an incredibly crazy amount of life and then the next time around we can play ventral for even less and stuff starts getting through with double strike and lifelink so it's kind of their game it's kind of optimus this game we can kind of almost call it like it's basically 60 damage coming at them roughly i'm not doing all the individual math but we're it's probably more than that but it's like 60 damage going at them they block all of it but we still gain 60 life up to like 100 and some 120 something possibly even 130 plus i think we're just gonna call that it's just yeah we're just gonna call it and boom Optimus Prime wins! Match three, there's your winner. Very pleased, and of course we could have used... Well, we would have hold on, held on to the Energon until someone's actually got through. Gets through. So it's like, when an artifact you, uh, controls, you attack. So we can't pick and choose what would get the artifact, get the Energon boost, the one-time boost. So, oh, that's right. It's not just a plus one, plus one counter. It's first strike or trample. So we could give two creatures trample, which we would definitely do. We would do that on this turn, actually. So Energons, and we would make our biggest ones trample, which are all pretty much just five-somethings. But again, Again, they're double strike, so that would be 10 damage coming in. Yeah, so you would actually probably take roughly 10 damage. Going down to 20, all of your creatures destroyed, we go up to 120 life. You're going to make maybe four flyers this time, or three. Yeah, you're done. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please subscribe to the channel, throw some likes around. I hope you saw some really awesome cards that you want to put in your decks, and I will see you next time.